All right, this is another um, demo of an add-on from FastAdmin.Solutions. And what this one does, it's called Checkout Easy. And so Checkout Easy is a delightful add-on that allows you to track things you're going to check out. Now, I made this to uh, track video gear in my classroom, but you can use it for books, tools, almost anything you check out to a bunch of users. So let's get started by seeing how this works. So the sidebar, which we get to from add-ons, and check out easy, check out easy just has the sidebar here. So uh, if I choose, and actually the, the setup button is not in here. I don't want people accidentally setting up when they don't want to. So we go to add ons, we go to check out easy, we find set up workbook. This part's pretty important because it sets up the sheets that you need to track things with this add on. So I'm just going to click setup, and within seconds, it's got all the sheets I need. It actually has one extra that I should probably then remove at some point, but let's just delete that one. So now I've got a sheet and each is color coded for checkouts, users, gear, and checkout history. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start adding my users and my gear and uh, show you how this works. So I've got a bunch of fictitious users in here and I got these from a name generator online. Um, so I have all these names and I have their ID numbers and what group section they're in. Your section could be anything you want. It could be their faculty or student. It could be what department they work in. You can use these uh, use these sections for anything you want. The cell phone and email columns we'll get into later, um, so that you can track down things that have been checked out. And I've got uh, four, five periods of students built in here, and my gear sheet shows me all the gear that I have. Now you don't have to use every single column, uh, or even use it for what it's what it's used for. But after a while, you'll figure out what you want to use this for to see uh, how it checks back. So what it's going to do if I go to my checkout sheet and there's nothing here. Let's go to add-ons again and check out easy and check out easy sidebar. So the sidebar is where everything launches from except for the setup. So if I choose check gear out, it wants to know what am I checking out. So let's go find somebody's ID number here just to fictitious our way through it. So if I choose this person and I copy their user ID number and I have them check out item number 52. And the default is today for doing turning things back in. And let's see, we want to have it back by next Wednesday. And I say confirm. So now it's going to confirm it. So Elena Green wants to check out the Canon camcorder. I'm going to say yes. That's cool. And now it adds it onto not only the checkout sheet, but the checkout history sheet. So it doesn't even look like we're on a different sheet because they're exactly the same thing. So let's say she is ready to check it back in. So let's go to the main menu. And let's check gear in. And she's come back with the equipment. And I say let's check back in item number 52. Now we don't even have to know who's checking it back in because all we care is that the thing is returned. So it's checked back in. And on the checkout history sheet, it shows when it was checked out. Let's check something out again. So let's go back to checkouts. And again, that's is emptied because the item was checked back in. So if we check in, <clears throat> oops, let's go to main menu and check gear out. So we're gonna check gear out again. Let's see the same user. And let's check out number 53. I think there's a 53 in my inventory. And I confirm. Now this time I didn't pick a due date to return it to. But if I say yes, my checkout sheet shows me when it's going to come back and when it's in. The checkout, uh, excuse me, the gear sheet, the gear sheet shows who has it. So right now, uh, the Canon camcorder number 53, Elaine has it. So if I'm looking for a piece of equipment, uh, and let's try to check that piece out again. So now we're going to say, Let's check out number 53, and um, let's use one previous user to this, and let's check out number 53 again. And what it'll tell us is that number 53 is already checked out. So you can't check things out twice. It's got to be checked in first. So if I go back and check that in, that'll work. So this is a way of keeping track of what's out, uh, and you have to check things back in to make it work. Uh, so the checkout history shows anybody who's ever had that, you know, the whole overall history of, of checkouts. And there's a lot of reasons why you might want to keep a long-term history of this, but this one, is, as you can see, is checked out. So if I go back to check-ins and I check in 53 again, <clears throat> check it in, it removes it from the checkout sheet and it leaves it on the history sheet. So checkouts is now empty. Users, all the user does is shows who the people are and the gear and what's going to be added to our next version of this is a email reminder that's going to send a reminder to say that uh, a particular item has been checked out 
uh, and somebody has it and it'll send it to the person who's who's got it checked out there's also a few other functions in here so there's easy ways of adding gear so if I choose to add an item to my inventory it'll add in all the things and put them in the right place on the gear sheet similarly we also have an add user so if you're on the fly trying to add a user this is a quick way of building them back into your system everybody's got to have a user ID number so there's a lot of ways you might want to choose to make those or format those user ID numbers most schools have a student ID number but if you have a faculty uh, person checking things out then you want to may maybe have a different system for developing user ID numbers for them so this is a, a useful system and uh, I've used it for the last semester and uh, I'm also trying to see if other schools are interested in using it and building it up to a more robust add-on that helps people out. So uh, give it a shot, try it out, and let me know what you think. Appreciate it.